Hello to the Good Honey Bee Yard. Tuesday, 31st of March 2020. And I'm here at the extracting room. And I'm going to put back in these supers which I extracted the honey from two days ago. Uh, what happened is I went to my colonies just now and I got a surprise. Well, actually, not a surprise. But that is what happens when you have a catcher swarm. One of the things is they always have the tendency to swarm again. So, it did swarm this morning. I went there and looking around and so on, around 8.30, and I got that surprise, that colony swarm. So, what I'm doing now is I'm going to just go and put back those supers that I took out and we'll take it from there. So let's go down to the back. Okay, we are here and I have already I have already gone through and put on most of the supers back on the colonies. See, I didn't know what kind of madness I'd meet today, so, and being alone is why I didn't show you all those other things that I did. But right here, what we have is a, a empty um, super, just foundation, and I put on this box like that because I didn't want the bees to be too congested in that small area. So. I have also put on that empty super to keep them until now. So what I have here is um, I'm going to be doing this other one here now. I can't even remember what I did here. things and put it on pause a little bit okay so I am back I have the I have the super sorry about that block video there boy I'm just trying to rearrange this camera here successful in putting up all these supers arranging them in the order in which I want and um, what I will need to do is to carry back this empty empty one back to the shop they have a lot of bees in it I hope they would know they have to move I have a few I have a few frames here, I need to put them in this box. Because when I leave here, I don't want her to come back. Yeah, a yeah. couple days ago, when I was here, as you could see, it was madness. Um, however, that is fear. Fear is what has caused that. 
the the helper that I had was fearful. So the bees sensing that they they, they get on in that rambunctious kind of fashion. And look at it today. You see I am here. I put on my old backlack suit so that I'll be able to deal with them. But as you can see, the bees aren't going at me as a couple days ago. I'm not afraid because that guy mentioned to me that, you know, he's getting scared. So that makes me believe that this fear that he has is what caused that. So, this is the only sort of reaction I'm getting from them bees today. I mean, I'm finished already. And uh, let me just carry these boxes back to the shop and call it a day. So, hold on for a while again. Okay, so we are here. Sit down now, let me, let me talk a little bit. Alright. Yeah. Let me just, let me just throw this in. Make it a little more, a little more cozy. So the bees will, the bees will tend to want to go to the light. And um, when they go to the light, I'll switch it off. And then I'll force them to go to the, the, the screen there. You want to see a pull there just now. I'll open it up. And um, the bees will go outside. So this is my old backlax bee suit from way, way back in the days. Somewhere in, in the 70s, I got this, this suit. And... Um, in those days, we had a, a, a fine time with these bees as they begin to get Africanized. So I acquired this suit. So I thought, you know, that um, the, the bees would be very much aggressive today. So what I did was bring out my backlack suit. So you have a couple of bees around me here now, they just looking to give me a sting here and there. How are you looking? All right, they're all up there. I'm switch off the light now, so in the back here it will be a little bit darker. And they will all fly to the, the light, the source of the light. So now I can take off my veil. And as you can see, I hope you can see, I don't have much clothes underneath here like the other day. Just one long sleeve shirt and a, a t-shirt. This, this material is real thick, you know, so the bees can't get me through that so easily. Yeah, man. So, the last time was a real thrill in getting all that honey. So what I'll have to do now is to make some serious note. And the note is, it seems like I have to work my bees by myself. Because it had one time some years ago, I had a guy come to help me. In the same way this, as you see this guy did, to extract honey and that was about the first time I uh, came across the, the idea of fear. You know, bees don't like red, the color red or black. They, they see red and black as one color, as far as the scientists say, you know. And uh, <clears throat> they would sense fear, fear in people. So if you go on, if you go into tent the bees and you begin to get afraid, the, the human body lets out some sweat hormones 
from your bones, they let out some sweat. And when the bees sense that, as you can see how they behaved the other day. Now look at that. I have been tending to my bees all the time. Taking out, extracting honey without having the bees behave like that towards me. I don't know, maybe because I'm vegan, my um, excuse me. <laughs> I am, um, my sweat, I'm not that threatening to the bees, but um, the guy who was here helping me, the student, he is a semi-vegetarian, so that could have something to do with it. If anybody out there have any idea or comments concerning fear going by the bees, Put it in the comments for me. I would love to hear from you all. So, more or less I'm finished. The, the days went well. I was expecting some real battle, but the bees behaved nice. I extracted the honey. Um, I got a uh, 181 pounds of honey. That is um, about 16 gallons. No, that is, yeah, about 15 gallons, 15 gallons of honey, somewhere there. So, I'm talking about the good honey, you know, <laughs> the real good honey. Yeah, man. So, here what to do for me. When you get a chance, give me a thumbs up, like and share, subscribe, ring the bell icon. I'll catch you in the next one, definitely. I don't have much cleaning up to do. I have a couple of supers there to take care of. I got clean up here, you know, mop it out and so on. And I have to get back to the, the wax, the wax melter uh, renderer to put these into cakes. And I have a nice piece of cake here I wanted to show you. Check out this. Come close to my way, say so far. Turn around. Yeah, look at look at this beautiful Kiga wax. You see how the underneath does look like? When you um this is the underneath. You put water in the container and this is how it is come out on the underneath. And this is the top. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. You can't go wrong at all. See all them bees trying to some trying to go out, some trying to come in. And believe more trying to go out than to come in anyhow. So, here is the thing. I will catch you in the next one. And um, I'm expecting to do another extraction somewhere between the 10th and the 15th of April. So, you could come back for that. Make sure you come back. You know, don't, don't leave me here alone. You, you, you see all them bees and you get frightened. The boy wanted to run, you know. So, I tell him, nah. Yeah, what yeah, what you asking me now? If um, if dies dies all the, it does be all the time. Every time we go into extract honey. Well, I had to tell him the truth. Yeah. It don't be like that all the time, but most of the time it's like that. Especially somebody come to help me out. So folks, there you go. There you have it. Um. Catch you in the next one, you know. All right, bye for now, TTFN, and thanks very, very much for watching. And be safe out there, see what's going on out there. And you see what you're doing, so you have to do something at home. If you can't go out like me, in your own property, well then stay inside. It's more safe. Okay. <laughs>